everyone, this is Curtis with We Back Online Cure. Hey, today is Friday. Well, I made it. It's been a rough week, y'all. I've been running all week long, and I'm still running and trying to catch up and uh, getting calls to go here, go there. And, oh, boy. It's, <laughs> it, don't, it, it never stops, which is it's good. It's good that things are working like that for me, but sometimes, it, oh, you get tired. You get tired. But uh, I'm here right now to take care of Alon. I shared this with you before. Um, yeah, when was it? about a week, two weeks ago or something like that. But anyway, I'm back here again to mow this here property again today. It's on my list, and uh, I'm gonna do. I got this one to do, and then once I leave here, then I got another one to do, and then once I leave there, then I got another one to do. So I got a, a full day of just lawn care work. Hopefully, I can make make it to everyone got some uh, small properties big properties and it's just uh it's gonna be a number of things i'm just gonna try to do today i'm gonna see if i can get it done today and uh, just gonna go from there y'all it, it's been that way all week and i try to uh carry y'all along with me on some of my daily routines of doing lawn care just sharing with you what goes on when i'm out doing lawn care how my day go how uh, you know the lawn care business go um, like I said sometimes people don't understand you know how lawn care works and you know you know working as a solo person you know it, it's just so many things you have to do and so many things that you have to keep your mind abreast on it's like well I gotta do this I gotta do that did I do this did I do that I had a schedule for that Oh, so-and-so called me. Did you remember? So-and-so wanted to get their lawns done. Oh, did you take that note? Did you write that note down? Oh, who haven't paid you? Oh, you need to do the accounting work. Who didn't do this? Who? Oh, so-and-so called me. And it go on and on and on like that, you know? And I mean, I have all types of stuff, software, computers, and all of that. And uh, you got to input all this data and stuff in here to track this. and it gets complicated y'all it gets i mean it becomes a headache sometimes you know you do that and you, when you get home at night you do all of this and you do all of that and then when i do the videos that's another task that i have doing the videos and then editing the videos and then uploading the videos and then wondering saying well did i share enough content will they like what i'm i'm gonna post today you know you're like i don't know you know but it it's a lot of things that you go through in a day just a full week or even just going through a whole month it's it's different every day out here you know it's like uh you just don't know you just don't know and so that's what i've been doing is just carrying y'all along with me on a, a daily event I'm up here just vlogging what i'm doing every day uh from mowing lawns to just going here going there on a uh, consistent base so I, I, I see some of y'all comments and uh, I try to uh, well I read them and <laughs> I'll try to get back with y'all on some and some stuff people ask me about and I, I you know I be like oh boy <laughs> oh boy I'm like well you know it's like I, I know it looks like I, I was reading one and they went and asked me to do a video on like well I think what was it about oh I don't have no life yeah I don't have a life because all I'm doing is working and uh, I you know I was thinking about it and I might I'm, I'm planning to try to do a video on that or what it is yeah my life is working and it, the reason that that's being is because uh, these are parts of having a business and if you want to succeed, you do whatever it takes to succeed. You have to put the time in it to make it work. You can't just put stuff off and say, oh, well, I'll do this and I'll do that. Oh, I'm just going to take time off. And... No, no. Then you don't miss that the lawn care season is over. When you work in a seasonal based business or service seasonal based business, you have to stay at it. Because if you don't stay at it, then you're just gonna miss it you're gonna miss it you don't get that opportunity no more you only get that one opportunity and and i mean if it's there for you to get it you got to go get it 
you know if, if you if you put it off getting it today it may not be there tomorrow person doesn't change their mind they don't want it uh, I'll do it myself or I'll get somebody else it's just part of business people work on impulse they may see something that they they so desire to have and they gotta have it today and if you can present it or give it to them today you give it to them if you can do it you know but sometimes things don't work that way you can't be in all these places at once but that's just part of the things that I've learned in business if people work off an impulse, they may see something that's like for his mind, a car or, or shopping or a restaurant. They may see the, oh, well, you know, I think I like to eat over there. And and then next thing you know, oh, they show up and the place is closed. And then they're like, nah, I don't want to eat there now. So it works off of an impulse and you have to be ready to go at all times to uh, be consistent at what you're doing and that's just something that I learned when I was uh, in school well I went to business school you know they offered all these classes and courses and they teach you all of this stuff and about how things work in a business and you know how to uh, just how to really make it if I can break it down to you how to make it you know you ever see some things where some people will fail and others succeed you know even with this YouTube I just like some will some will excel in it and some will not some will just do it for a while and they will say ah, forget it I haven't blown up yet my channel haven't blown up I haven't got all these subscribers and oh man I you can't give up you don't look at it like that you look at it within yourself I'm gonna keep doing this other people are doing it they're succeeding so will I maybe the time hasn't come for you to blow up yet but it will but if you keep on being persistent about doing something you're gonna get good at doing it and that's the thing that you need to put in your mind consistency do it repeatedly over and over and over and over and over until you get it down. Don't let nothing get in your way. Don't get no distraction. Don't worry about no bad comments. Somebody seeing something that they don't even know you. They don't know nothing about you. But they got something to type in that they don't even know. They just wanting some type of attention. You know, you don't worry about no stuff like that. Because they worried about it. That's something that they worry about. They looking for some attention. You're like, man, come on, please. Please. Be yourself. All I like to say is be yourself and be you and do you. That's the way it is. And that's what you see me doing. Being myself. And I'm doing me. This is the way I do it. I ain't worried about what nobody else is doing. I'm worried about what I'm doing. Can't nobody live for you but you. You got to live for yourself. You know, you live for yourself, do for yourself, be yourself. And that's what I'm doing. So when you look in the video, that's curse. That's who you see. He's being himself. He's being Curtis. Anyway, y'all, let me get busy over here and get this lawn taken care of. Like I say sometimes, I like to give you a little talk to let you know what I'm thinking in the beginning. But now, I must get busy being Curtis and doing what I do. So, uh, stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Hey, I just finished up this hill property. I mowed it, edged it, and trimmed everything up and blew it all off. And well, here's the way it looks. Check it out. Check it out. This is what I'm talking about. As you can see, this is the front lawn. I got it completed. So, uh, took a little time, but hey, it always takes time to make something look good. So, uh, got that one done so now y'all I'm gonna head to the next one Stay okay tuned. guys I just showed up at another property I'm gonna take care of this one is a regular one and uh, fin to uh, just see if I can get this one all cleaned up uh, let's take a look at it okay here we go it's this property right here where I'm talking about this one right here so what I got to do motor front and the back edge and you know just get it all shaped up again and um it just need it just need some work done on it that's all but i'm gonna jump in here and see about doing doing a little bit to it get it all shaped up again so i just wanted to give you all a quick view of the 
way it was looking before I start working on it. So it's going to take a few minutes, but uh, I'm going to see if I can get it taken care of. All right, yeah, stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Hey, I just finished up this here property, uh, front and back. Got it all mowed up, edged and trimmed all around. Let's take a quick look at it, and then I'm going to head out of here. Okay, this here is the way it looks, the front of it, as you can see. That's the way the front is looking, and, you know, I took care of the back. But I got to keep moving, so I'm just giving y'all a, a quick view of the way the front turned out and all. Uh, so as you can see, this here is the front of it. So I got it all mowed and trimmed up and, and all. So now, I gotta keep moving. So I'm finna head to another one, y'all. I gotta keep moving. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone, I just showed up at another property I'm finna take care of. Um, let's take a look at it. Okay, it's this one right here. I'm gonna take and mow this one here. This thing got kind of high. This is in, I mow it every other week. And in two weeks, this is the way it looks. So, uh, I'm gonna get in here and take care of it front and back. So, I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm just gonna uh, get in here and get it taken care of. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Hey, I just finished up this here property. Took me some time to get it front and back. Small yard, but it always takes a little time. Well, more than usual, it takes a lot of time for some of these little small properties because you have to do a lot of more detail uh, trimming, cutting, and uh, just a lot of little stuff you have to do. Sweeping up, you know, stuff like that. But uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, here we go. Uh, as you can see this is the way it looked after doing all the little details out for us raking picking up piper sweeping up little leaves and you know getting stuff off the sidewalk and just in the back and uh, it's just a number of little things there as you can see I, I, I swept up a lot of the grass you see I fill up the trash can with some of that grass debris over there got that up so uh, Basically, uh, I'm glad to uh, have got this one completed for now until I uh, come back in two weeks and uh, work on it again. So now, I'm going to head off and see about getting another one taken care of. Uh, let me see. Where am I headed? I got a number of them to do. I don't know which way I want to go. It don't matter which way I go, east, south, west, I still got something to do. Uh, and I'll think about it when I get in the truck and start driving which way I want to go. I'll show y'all when I get there. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. I'm in another property that I'm going to take care of. Uh, it's uh, This is a weekly, and I'm back again this week to take care of it. Uh, let's take a look at it. Okay, this here is the way it looks. Um, I cut it high last week, and you see how pretty green it looks. Get a little water on it. So if you cut it high and don't cut it too low, you'll keep it nice and green. You see how you, you can see how as green it is. What happens is a lot of times some customers want it cut real low because well they don't want it cut often, but when you cut it like that with the, and, and the heat it dries it out and it turn it brown you see how this is looking over next door it looks kind of dry and brown you see that over there and you see that one over there they cut it too low and you see it's getting real brown so it doesn't absorb a lot of water in it so that's the way it uh, kind of dry it out. See now over here on the other side, I cut it and it's got those pine trees over there. So there's not enough water over there. So it's kind of brown on the other side of it. But right in this area, it's real pretty and green. Hmm. But that's the way it looks. 
it's a lot of stuff you got to do to keep a lawn up. I mean, regular maintenance, fertilize, water, heat. You just got to stay on top of it, maintenance and everything, you know, because if you don't, you can pick up fungus, bugs, all kind of critters and stuff in there, chinch bugs, all of that. So you, you just got to, like I say, stay on top of the maintenance on the lawn. You can have a very nice lawn that looks good. And I cut a lot of lawns. I mean, a lot of them, y'all. I mean, oof. Let me get busy. I'm up here talking. Let me get busy. I got to get this one because I got another one I got to get to. Stay tuned, though. Okay, everyone, I'm back. Hey, I just finished up this here property. Front and back mode, edge, trim, and blew everything off. Let's take a quick look at it, and then I'm headed to go and do another one. Here we go. This is the way it looks. I mowed it high so that it wouldn't be drying out, you know, because you don't want to get, get it all brown and all. So you mow it high, just trim it off, shave the top of it off and everything, and it'll stay nice, pretty, and green. You know, normally you know put a little water to it and it will stay nice and green and healthy but that's the way it looks y'all so uh, I got that one out the way so let me keep moving cause uh, I got some more to go do oh boy let me go get to it y'all stay okay, tuned one I just showed up at another property I'm gonna take care of front and back I'm gonna give you a quick view of it and then I'm gonna jump in here and see if I can get it taken care of right quick alright here we go this here is the way it looks. This is the front of it. So I'm going to edge it up, you know, mow it and everything and just uh, just get it looking good. Like I say, I ain't going to waste much time. I'm going to jump in here and get it <clears throat> taken care of. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, everyone. I just got this one all finished up, mowed, edged, and everything blown off. Just take a quick look at it. Okay, here we go. This is the way it looks. Uh, took a few minutes I got the front and the back all taken care of so now that that one's completed I'm headed to go into another one stay tuned I got to keep moving all right guys I just showed up at another line I'm not gonna waste any time I'm gonna uh, see if I can get this one here taken care of right quick it's a regular one I do it every week uh, it's a rather large property so uh, I'm not gonna waste too much time here uh, let's take a look at it right quick it's got some leaves on it and uh, just grass. Grass not growing that much, but they like to keep it looking clean and fresh. So let's look at it. Okay, it's this one right here, as you can see, right, right here. So I'm just going to get this here all spruced up here. So uh, I'm going to jump to it. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Hey, I got that one completed. Uh, I got the leaves up. Let's take a look at it. Okay, this is the way it looks. Got them leaves up. Well, I got most of the leaves up, you know, some still don't fall from the tree. But I got the front all taken care of and I got the back all taken care of. So I got that one out my way. That's off the list. You know what? I'm headed to go do another one. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm just arrived at another property that I'm going to take care of right quick. Uh, front and back, mow, edge, trim. Uh, it's this one, as you can see right across the street I'm gonna take care of that one right there so uh, let me get busy and see about getting this one taken care of because night is gonna come up on me all right yeah stay tuned all right guys I just got my last lawn completed uh, yeah if you can see it that's it right there across the street I guess got that one mowed edge trim and blown off and everything so that's it that's it for the day it's been a uh, it's been a long day. Uh, mowed quite well. I mowed some lawns today. It's kind of like that every day, all during the week. And uh, you know, lawn after lawn. Uh, drive here, drive there. Oh boy, it was busy. I was busy today. But uh, I'm glad that uh, I was able to uh, get X amount of lawns taken care of today. Uh, I had uh, some more that I needed to take care of, but 
due to the distance that I have to travel, I wasn't able to uh, get to them. So, you know, I was, I was just working in, uh, what can I say, one area of town where everything was uh, nearby because uh, sometimes, you know, I got some, I got to drive across town over here to this part of town, then from that part of town to the other part of town. and. <laughs> I tried, years ago, I tried to have all my lawns in one area where people move and they want to carry me with them when they move. They want to uh, say, well, hey, uh, you may get some more lawns on this side of town and, you know, you just start taking care of mine so people see you and then I can give you a recommendation and, and I really appreciate it, but I don't even want to go across town. I've been wanting to stay in my uh, my part of town because you know it, it's time consuming. You know I'm losing money by driving across town when I could be, you know, every let's just say every five to ten minutes I could be in another yard working versus me spending five, fifteen, twenty minutes. Or 30 minutes to drive across town to do a lawn and you know I, I I do it and sometimes and it's hard putting a schedule together to do that you know is yeah because it's time-consuming I mean all this driving and stopping and go here and loading and unloading and oh man it's just I tell you yeah that can uh, that can get oh man that can get old quick all of that driving drive here drive there and that's the same way England having you know when you when you when you, you try to have a helper and all and you got to go pick them up then work them then sometimes they want well they hungry you got to feed them because they be dragging and you feed them and then they drag in them more you know you be like god dang I just fed him you know I just spent $15 feeding this guy <laughs> and now he wants more money <laughs> after feeding him god dang by the time you get through you know by having a helper by the time you look at you know the time factor of uh, picking them up and uh, then work them, then pay them, and, and then take them back home. You know, you're like, whoa, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of drive time. And then they want more money because they feel like, oh, well, he needed help. I, I should, he should be paying me uh, $150 to $200. You know, he, he, he needs me. He came and picked me up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> They get it all twisted, you know. <laughs> they get it twisted, you know, because they be like, you know, he must really need me back. Cause he came and picked me up. <laughs> Boy, look at him. They better have some consideration that hey, better be thankful that somebody would waste their gas and time to come pick you up, and, you know. You know, I mean, be like thinking that that you need them. I'm a solo guy. You know, you'll figure a way how to get something done and make some money. You know, but um, you know, they, you know, and and then you know they be dragging around. Uh, and then sometimes, you know, you're watching your, you know, how much gas has got on ran the blower out and ain't blow nothing. Um, done ran the trim out of gas and ain't trim nothing. Done use all the trimmer line up. And you're like, wait a minute, I just bought a roll of that trimming line. You know, that's another 40, 50 bucks. And, uh, you know, one of them big rolls too, y'all. And uh, you like, wait a minute, this normally would last me a month or two months. You know, but God, I'm like, what, 
what's going on? You know, and and and, uh, and you're looking at the cost factor. This stuff is costing me money. You know, he would be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me go, let me let me get me some pen and paper and write this down. What's going on here? Because I'm spending a lot of money. I'm not making a lot of money. I'm spending a lot of money, and I'm like, man. But it gets expensive, I man. You, you know the price of gas, and yeah, ugh. and I mean it's great to have help if help gonna help you. But sometimes it ain't helping you. It's costing you a lot of money. You know. You know it's sometimes it's just not convenient. I mean, well, you get exhausted from working and doing all this and doing all of that. But that's just part of doing business. I mean, you you know, you're gonna get educated about what's going on while you're doing business, bring, trying to bring help in, or if you're trying to grow your business or whatever, you know. But the way I work, I work in a comfort zone. I'm not trying to grow no big old business. I'm just being comfortable with what I'm doing. You know, I don't need to have a bunch of trucks and a lot of employees and all it is and trying to make no payroll what I'm doing is strictly for me you know like I say everybody have different businesses and they have different dreams and goals for what they want but I'm comfortable with what I'm doing because you know if I feel if I wake up and I say I don't feel like doing nothing today then I don't do nothing today <laughs> you know I ain't have something else I want to do you know, but but you have to work in in your own zone, a way you feel and what's gonna make you comfortable. You know, I I mean, don't don't uh as they say, get into something and uh, mm -mm. and and if you're doing it for the money, oh man, please don't do that for the money. Do it like I say, do it for your comfort zone. You know, don't, you know, if you, they're just, what I want to say is that if, if you, um, just say you have a good day, you, you've done very well, or you had a good week and you done well, because, you know, hey, the weather permitted you to do well. But if the weather's bad and it's raining and everything, oh, well, hey, I get it next week. You know, I'll do what I can next week. Cause you have ups and downs and so you got to be prepared for that ups and downs and it's not stressing you out because you're not doing this for to try to make a lot of money you're doing it because to make you some money and you're comfortable with what you're doing that's just me that's the way i work some people may be doing it because they want to make a lot of money it don't matter to me whether i make a lot of money or not i'm 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 gonna be happy with what i do and that's that's the thing because you you stress yourself out <laughs> you know trying to go get this go get that go oh man please but anyway y'all i'm just sharing a little bit with you uh about what i do my take on this and uh i hope that you uh have enjoyed this video um that i put together here today for you on me doing some lawn care work here um uh yeah just yeah leave me some comments you know thumbs it up if you enjoyed it you know hey because i'm just out here this you know just do, just being me doing what i do but anyway i hope y'all have a good weekend and uh i'll be back but anyway y'all i'm finna get off of here i'm finna uh i'm finna uh drop my equipment off and uh, I'm going uh, to go and get me something to eat now. Y'all have a good one. Bye.